Hey guys, it's Lucy Kate and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a eyeshadow palette bingo video whilst doing a sort of chit chat get ready with me celebrating my three years living in Hawaii. So I sometimes do eyeshadow palette bingos on here. I believe the last one I did was Christmas of 2022. Oh no, wait, I did one in summer 2023. It's literally been over a year since I've done an eyeshadow palette bingo video. I enjoy doing these eyeshadow palette bingos, sort of spices things up. And the palette I'm going to be using today is the Hanging in Hawaii palette by BH Cosmetics to fit the theme of my three year anniversary in Hawaii. So before we get into the video, if you're not already subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Basically two reasons why I decided to choose the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii palette today. So the first reason is if you follow my project plan journey, you will know that this palette has been brought into my project pan. I added this one in because it is a pretty old palette by now. I think it's still on the BH Cosmetics website, but I believe it's sold out. They sell it in a different packaging now. And then secondly, seeing as we're talking about three years in Hawaii, it felt like, you know, the perfect palette to pull out because of the theme. It's a really basic, neutral toned, 16 color eyeshadow palette uh, with a few pops of pink. So it's really good for everyday makeup looks so make everyday makeup looks so what we're going to do is we're gonna get a random number generator so I have my old phone right here because I'm filming with my other phone and I just pulled up a random number generator um, I changed the lower limit number to 1 upper limit to 16 and we're going to generate four shades and if I feel it's not enough I'll add another one so first of all let's find out which shades we will be using okay so let's take a look at the shades that I got so I decided to go with five so we had 3, 15, 16, 4, and 1. So let's swatch 3. Okay, so 3 is this orange shade right here. Um, the next shade we had was, let's see, 15 and 16. And 15 and 16 are both brown shades. So first of all, I'll take 15. Number 16 is Honolulu, which is an even darker brown. Wow, these swatched pretty well for an old palette. And then next up we had number 4, and then I added number 1 in the end. Number 4. And then we got number 1, a white shimmer. So I'm pretty satisfied, you guys, with the combination I got. I mean, both of these browns are pretty dark. So one of them, I guess, I'll use in the underlash line. Another one I'll use to deepen up the crease. But I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. And I'm glad that I added the fifth shade so I could get like an inner corner highlight. So let's start doing the eyeshadow together. Before we get into the eyeshadow, I already did my eyebrows, my foundation and powder, concealer. And I did do a little bit of bronzer. But to fit with the theme, I do have another Hawaii themed makeup product and that is this right here. This is also BH Cosmetics palette. This is also BH Cosmetics product. This is the Honolulu Hideaway blush. And so seeing as it fits the theme, it seems like it will match the colors, I think. So I'm gonna apply this on my cheeks. It's a really beautiful two-tone blush product. And by the way, the reason why I'm wearing red today, I know it's not very Hawaii themed, but the day I'm filming this um, video today is actually the 4th of July. So that's why we're wearing red. And wow, there's quite a lot of fallout in that. I love how there's a mirror. So I really need to get into using this as well. Um, back in the day, like, when I first got into collecting makeup, I'd say in like 2017, um, the two brands that I would collect was Colourpop and BH Cosmetics because they were both affordable but did good quality products. So I'm really sad with what's happened with BH Cosmetics. You know, I know they went bankrupt and then after that makeup revolution bought them, but it doesn't seem like um, it's been going that well because I checked the website, they're doing a sale, things are sold out, not getting stuck back in. So we really don't know what's going to happen with them. Um, and I also do find them at TJ Maxx a lot nowadays. I think I'm going to have to stock up at TJ Maxx on their products because I do really, really love their palettes, especially the travel series. And my all-time favorite palette from them would have to be the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. That was like my go-to palette. That was my first ever like 
eyeshadow palette when I started collecting makeup, if that makes sense. So yeah, really, really, I have so many memories of that palette. I'm so sad because I decluttered it before I moved to Hawaii, actually. But yeah, if, if that palette was to go for sale again, I would 100% buy it again. That is what the cheeks are looking like. I really like it. It's like a really cute pink blush. And yeah, so let's get in with the eyeshadows. I think I had really good luck with the shadows that were selected, but I mean overall because this palette is a natural palette, it is a pretty easy palette to work with compared to past eyeshadow palette bingos that I've done. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first shade that we got, Hibiscus, this orangey shade, and use it to apply in the crease. And while applying eyeshadow, I'm just going to sort of talk about my three years in Hawaii. This is a simple like you know eyeshadow palette bingo video i'm not gonna go too into depth with a chit chat today um in the future i do plan to do more in-depth videos about life here in hawaii but just briefly like you know summarizing the three years i moved to hawaii in 2021 of july so that's why it's exactly three years this month since i moved and i cannot believe that time has gone by this quickly. When we first moved, I was fresh out of graduating college and I graduated in March because I graduated a Japanese university. So literally four months after graduating, I moved to Hawaii. A question I often get is why am I living in Hawaii? So basically, my partner is American. We always discussed that in the future we would move to the US. Career-wise, he wanted to work he wanted to be in the US, he wanted to work in the US and so I always knew that one day, you know, there would be the possibility of moving but it was never supposed to be as quick as how everything turned out to be. It was all a blur basically, so it was unplanned that we would be moving that early. Like it was very unexpected um, but I guess, you know, everything happens for a reason and everything, you know, came into its place but yeah. <laughs> Um, it was always in the plans, it was always in the works to move to the US, but um, one, I didn't know it would be this early, and two, um, we weren't, it wasn't definite that it was going to be Hawaii, let's just say. And I think what I'm going to do is, you know how I have these two dark brown shades? What we're going to do is we're going to take the first dark brown shade, the Mahalo shade, this one, and use that to deepen the crease. And then Honolulu we're going to use as an under lash line. So let's do both of these right now. To continue on with the moving situation, um, was it my number one choice to move to Hawaii? If I'm completely honest, no. But, you know, being in a relationship, you, I mean, long distance relationships, you know, they work for some people, but I knew that I didn't want to do a long distance relationship. And so, you know, things fell into place that we, you know, moved here to Hawaii. You know, everything was very new to me um, when it comes to Hawaii. Like I'd only come once on a vacation, which was literally two, three days. So everything was completely new to me. It's very different to anywhere I've ever lived before and when we moved it was in 2021 so you know the whole COVID-19 situation the whole pandemic situation was still going on there was many restrictions so it's really hard to believe that there was that many restrictions back then like it's so different to life now but yeah we were still very much in the middle of you know when traveling was difficult there was, there was hardly any people in the airport and the airplanes like the Japanese airport was empty at that time. Crazy to think of now because you know everyone is going to Japan now because of the yen rates, the yen dollar rates. So yeah it's crazy how you know things can change in just three years. Right now you know I work side by side with my partner in real estate and I plan to get my real estate license too. Um, We've always sort of worked together, even when we were dating it back in Japan. We did many different businesses together, like English school, we had an English school business and like all kinds of other stuff too, which I do want to make more videos about. So I've never wanted to, I mean, I've talked about this in my Japan videos, but I never wanted to enter a company. It was never my goal to graduate a Japanese university and, you know, enter a company and do a nine to five. I've never wanted to do that and so I was a professional model for many years then I realized that modeling wasn't the only thing I wanted to do I wanted to be an entrepreneur so therefore I quit my agency and I did freelance modeling on the side while doing 
always kind of small businesses, let's just say. And so I already started doing businesses um, with my partner while we were in college. So after graduating, my everyday life didn't really change in Japan. Like I was, you know, we were still running the business together. I was doing photo shoots. So it wasn't like, you know, moving to Hawaii would, you know, prevent, would get, prevent me from losing a job. Let's just say, because if I'm an entrepreneur, you know, I can do work anywhere, I guess. Like I wasn't bound to the one location. I guess the only, the one reason why I was bound to location was because of my modeling. So that is one thing that is a shame that I can't do anymore. Um, for a long time, modeling was my identity. Now, it, now I've kind of like grown apart from that. But because I'd been modeling all throughout my teenage life, that was all I knew at one point. So at first, not doing these photo, not doing photo shoots in Hawaii was a struggle, which sounds weird. But when you do something for such a long time, it's so engraved in you that it feels weird. It feels like you're not fully yourself. But from doing YouTube and like building a family life together here, um, I've learned that that's not my only identity. Right now, we're really focused on building our life together here. You know, we got an office since last year. We're building a real estate team. And, you know, we're very busy, extremely busy every day. So work-wise, it's a really, it's the best location to be. But I'd say living wise, it's not my number one choice. Like I've never been one to be shy of saying, you know, Hawaii isn't the number one state for me. I would, let's just say it's not a state that I would choose to move if I was by myself. Like the sole reason I'm living here is because I'm with my partner. That's why I'm here. So the few in the future, you know, who knows? Um, I doubt that we'd be living in Hawaii forever, like when we have children and, you know, starting a family and building a house, like that, of course, then of course we do plan on moving to the mainland, but career-wise, building a real estate team here and selling and selling Hawaii real estate, you know, of course we have to be here right now. And so I'm fully supportive of that. I want to build something together. So yeah um i do want to do more real estate content on my channel let's get the shimmer shade the luau shade i really want to do more real estate content here because that is what takes up our everyday life so i do the marketing i also do operations and like you know handling schedules and organizing things but like i said i do plan on getting my real estate license it's just the daily tasks i have now i'm super busy with that's why haven't had time to get my license yet but when I do I really want to take you guys on that journey as well because it's such a unique journey and I just want to share basically parts of my life with you guys on here too that's why I have this channel so yeah that is what the eyeshadow is looking like let me add a little bit more of the Mahalo shade and I want to share more of my Hawaii life with you because I feel like I haven't really shared that much um, I guess I'm a very indoor person, you know, I'm here filming YouTube videos, like, I'm not the type to go to the beach, I'm not an outdoor person at all, that's why I haven't really been able to share much Hawaii content, but seeing as I am here, you know, it'd feel like such a waste to not share it, so yeah. Although I feel, I, although I do upload lots of Japanese content nowadays, because that does tend to be more popular on my channel, I definitely want to share bits of my Hawaii life here too, because you never know what happens, like I've lived in three countries so far in my life. You never know what can happen like that's why i really want to appreciate all the moments that i'm in this location while i'm in this location um let's take hula the first shade and apply it in the tear duct oh my gosh i applied way too much of that that is what the eye look looks like the reason why i didn't do both eyes simultaneously is because um if you guys watch my videos you notice by now but whenever i do makeup videos i do one side for my english channel and the second to my Japanese channel because my Japanese channel does have more subscribers we just we reached 800 subscribers you guys which is such a big thing for me super happy about that so yeah another thing that I think has really grown in the past year is my YouTube channel because I did have more time on my hands I have to admit you know I wasn't modeling anymore before I got really into real estate um, I started to want to grow my YouTube channel that's what I've been working on and thanks to that it's really grown but of course now it's a str now it's like a juggle. Like I only YouTube on the weekends or early mornings now. Looking back, reflecting on these three years, it's 
scary how time goes by. I think um, I talked about this in my reflection in my early 20s video, but every year just goes by quicker and quicker. And I feel, you know, while each moment is happening, I don't feel like I've grown as a person. But looking back on this time span of when I first moved to Hawaii, I was 23 years old. I think I, think I just turned 23 like a few weeks before I moved and I'm 26 now. I entered my late 20s last month and I do feel that I've grown. Like I do feel that I was still very naive, let's just say, back then. Um, now I feel like I'm more stronger as a person and you know, I have goals. Like I feel I was very young back then. I've always been goal oriented and family oriented, but I feel like we have this set goal of being successful together and building a legacy for our future family and that's my one big goal now i don't have struggles with my identity let's just say anymore like before you know i'd be modeling and i still have some insecurities let's just say but now i don't have that i think what i'm gonna do is use the hula shade the shade i use in the tear duct as highlight for like my whole face i'll do a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and lipstick and then i'll come back to kind of like summarize the makeup look and my thoughts on these past three years this is what my makeup looks like i do want to wrap things up quickly one because it's getting dark and two as i said it's fourth of july and i do believe that some fireworks are going to start going off but this is what my makeup look looks like so first of all when it comes to the makeup I really, really loved using this Hanging in Hawaii palette. Can't wait to start using this. As I said, this is going to be in my project pad um, because I've really made progress on the other BH Cosmetics, that wintry palette that I was using. And if you're interested in seeing my project pan videos, I have a playlist, so I'll link it down below. Um, this is going to be the perfect everyday makeup look. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever with how the eyeshadow turned out. I really think I got a lucky selection when it comes to this. And I used the white shade, the hula shade right here, as a highlight and it looks really, really nice. Um, I did some eyeliner, mascara. For lipstick, I used Moonchild by Colourpop, yet another project pan of mine. Um, so makeup wise, really, really happy with this. And just to wrap things up, like I said, it's my free anniversary in Hawaii. Sorry, I was kind of, you know, blabbing on. I really need to get better at structuring to so get ready with me. It's like whenever I watch other YouTubers, it the flow of it goes so well. Or maybe it's just my mind like overthinking things. But like I said, I think the biggest thing that I've learned in these, um, for the biggest thing for me, the three years that I've learned in from moving to Hawaii is family, basically. And my main goal right now is to build, you know, continue building this life of ours together, you know, our career together. And one thing I forgot to mention was I do feel like it's such a blessing that we're doing work together. I know that every couple has their own ways of where they feel they work well the most. Um, you know, some couples, both of them work, but they work separately. Many couples my age nowadays, like the they both work, but they work different jobs and they don't see each other all day. For us, like, we get along so well. I mean, of course we bicker, but we get along so well that we're fine with working and living together and being together 24-7. And I feel that that's such a blessing, like, to be able to spend so much time with your partner because not everyone has the luxury of doing that. And so I feel really grateful to be able to do that. And I don't want to take every day for granted because every move of mine, like I said, was unexpected. We don't we realistically won't be living in Hawaii forever for the rest of our lives. And I'm excited, you know, to move to other states, to explore other states. But at the same time, I do want to make the most of what we have right now here because when I look back, I think I'll really miss it. Like I miss Japan now. So look forward to seeing more Hawaii themed content from me. Like I do want to do more lifestyle content, like vlogs and just everyday sort of things. Um, 
so I will try and vlog more but I have to admit that my life is literally the home and the office and then if we have showings we go to the properties like that is all like my weekends I like to spend at home so there's not really that much to show but I do want to do more like lifestyle slash home content and then when I really get into studying for my real estate license I definitely will take you guys along that journey with me as well so that is it for today's chit chat get ready with me slash eyeshadow palette bingo if you have any comments or thoughts you'd like to share please leave them down the comments down below if you're not already definitely hit the subscribe button also any video requests are welcome and that is all for today's video i'll see you in my next one bye guys